Hello everybody, this is Fred with One More CCTV and we are coming at you quick with a video on how to install the DAWA phone app for your DAWA NVR, DVR or security cameras. This app lets you view um, those items remotely um, when you're away from the facility, um, both live view and playback. Uh, it's a simple process, we're going to cover it right now. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, there is a subscribe button. Please subscribe to our videos, like the content if it's useful to you, and most importantly, leave comments. Most of this content is based off of sub subscriber comments. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our App Store. If you have an Android device, um, you are going to want to go to the Google Play Store, obviously. Um, in your app store um, where you type what you are searching for, you want to type DAWA, D-A-H-U-A, D-A-H-U-A, I'm sorry, my New England accent is, uh, is coming out. But you'll see two options. There's the IDMSS Plus, which is a business option that you have to pay for, or the second option is the DMSS Utilities. That is all you need, okay? There's no huge difference between the two other than uh, one's free and one will cost you money. So we're going to download um, this one, the DMSS, just like so. Um, it will take a second to do so. Once it downloads, um, we are going to have to um, attach your recorder to it by its serial number. And there are two ways to do this, the easiest two ways. Um, the first would be um, to connect to the network that the recorder is currently on. In other words, if your NVR is plugged into a router um, and it's a wireless router like mine is, I can um, scan the network wirelessly, detect the NVR and add it that way. Sometimes that's not possible. Sometimes you're not going to be able to connect to the network with your phone. Um, so you are going to have to pull up the, um, the NVR um, using a browser. There is a link above um, right now that will walk you through the setup process of a um, DAWA NVR or DVR um, and how to get to the network settings. And I'm going to demonstrate that quickly in a moment um, on my desktop um, so you know what I'm talking about. But first, going back to the app, it says DMSS would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. Okay, that's fine. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to see the recorder, right? Um, it's asking if it can send us notifications. Uh, we can allow that. Now, when you swipe to the right, eventually it will give you the option to get into the app. You're going to have to pick your region. It will most likely recommend the correct region. You see ours is recommending the United States because that's where we are. Uh, if you're in another country, certainly pick that. Um, and then once the uh, app, the phone app, the DSS phone app has installed, it's going to ask you to add your first device. Below your battery indicator, you see a plus sign. It's a plus sign inside of a circle. If you hit that, there are your options. We can search online devices or we can scan. Okay, We're going to tell it to scan. And I am going to walk you through this process on my PC. All right, so yes, if we logged into our NVR uh, using a browser, we can go to the control panel here, pick the network tab, and sure enough, down at the bottom, okay, here's the network tab, down at the bottom, there's a P2P option. We want to make sure this is enabled, first of all, and that your device is showing online, um, which it should be. Um, and here are your two barcodes. The barcode to your left is the mobile client, okay? This is what you scan to get the phone app, okay? We've already installed that. We don't need this particular barcode. But the one on the right is the serial number. This is what we scan into the phone app to connect the recorder to the phone app, okay? And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right. At this time, we can log back into the app um, as we are ready to scan in the device code. Um, and what we are going to do is, again, hit that uh, 
below the battery indicator, there's that circle with the plus sign. We're going to add the device. Um, the top option is SN forward slash scan. We're going to pick that. Um, and again, we're going to scan the QR code to the right. Um, as you will see, it picks up the barcode perfectly, um, imports the serial number, you hit next. Um, it's going to ask you what type of device it is, if it's a camera, NVR, DVR. Um, we have a 16 channel NVR, so we're going to pick NVR. Uh, you can name it whatever you'd like for device name. We can just do demo NVR. And you're also going to have to enter the password um, that you created when you activated the NVR. Okay. Once you input all that, you can hit save and it will pull up the camera. There it is there. Um, with the phone app, you can do a bunch of stuff. Um, but primarily you're going to be doing live view, right? Which is here. Viewing your camera live to see what's going on. Um, this is just a demo camera. Uh, in the office, so there's not much going on. Um, but you could also do playback, okay? Um, we go back to the home, um, which is the icon in the top left portion of your screen, and you can pick playback. Um, once you're in the playback screen, you hit the plus in the middle of your screen. You can pick your camera, so we only have one the demo camera. And you'll see a blue indicator. Um, for any recorded activity, okay? So say we wanted to look at roughly noontime. Um, I just queued noontime, there you'll see it's at 12 o'clock. And say this is where the incident happens, okay? We can take a snapshot by touching the camera above the blue um, bar right there. And that took a still shot. We can also take a video clip beside the camera. There is actually, looks like a security camera. You can tap that and as you can see it started recording you can take a video clip of the incident um, stop your recording um, and there's your video clip okay so you can pull up your clip right here right it's the one we just took it's only a couple seconds um, but we can send that now um, to the authorities right you can share it um, which is great um, that's how you share it right there. Select your video, share, um, and you can pick who you want to send it to, whether it's a text, email, so on and so forth. Um, but that's basically it. I mean, that's what you're going to use the phone app for is live viewer playback. Um, it's, it's very fluent. Um, I compare it um, to the Hikvision HIK Connect app. Um, it operates pretty much the same way. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like it if the content was useful. Again, subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And until next time, we will see you in the field.